My name is Walter Unglob and this is Neutron Interactions with Matter. When we consider a neutron interacting with matter, what we typically consider is a neutron interacting with the nucleus of an atom. So here I have an atom with one or more electrons orbiting the nucleus, and I have a neutron, like a high energy neutron, that comes in and interacts with this nucleus. There's several things that can happen depending on this particular trajectory and the energy of the neutron and this particular nucleus that we're considering. We can either have scattering processes or we can have absorption occur. If we first focus on scattering, there's two types of scattering events that can occur. Either the collision process will be elastic, meaning that the total kinetic energy between the two particles is conserved, or we can have inelastic scattering. And what happens here is that the nucleus will go into an excited state due to the momentum, the energy that this incoming neutron had, and at a later point in time, the nucleus can emit some radiation due to the de-excitation after the inelastic scattering event has occurred. If we consider absorption, that means that the neutron is absorbed into the nucleus, and there are many different types of absorption processes that can occur in this type of interaction. For one, we can consider electromagnetic absorption or a charged particle absorption or neutral absorption. And each of these types of processes involve the neutron being absorbed into the nucleus and then some other type of particle being emitted from the nucleus. So if it's neutral, that means another neutron has been um, emitted from the nucleus. For a charged particle type of absorption, the nucleus can emit different types of radiation, like alpha particles or beta particles. And then electromagnetic radiation from the absorption of the neutron can involve, for example, photons or uh, high, en yeah, high energy photons such as gamma rays. So here we can have a positron or an electron. And a final type of absorption would be fission. So if the neutron is of high enough sufficient energy, then it can break apart this nucleus. And the nucleus will break up into daughter products, and not just smaller nuclei, but probably other radiation, such as gamma rays or posit positrons or electrons, and uh, even another neutron. And if this continues on with many nuclei, then you can have an uncontrolled fission reaction. And that's what a fission bomb is. So these are the different types of interactions that a neutron can have uh, with matter, specifically the nucleus. And the nucleus will have a larger cross-section compared to the electron, meaning that the probability of the neutron hitting and interacting with the nucleus is larger than that of the neutron interacting with the electron orbiting the nucleus. My name is Walter Unglob and this is Neutron Interactions with Matter.